Hey guys. So it is bright and early on Saturday morning. I woke up so early. But it is going to be another really hot day. And the last couple of days, or the last couple of weeks, sorry, have been really hot on the weekends to the point where I just haven't achieved anything in the garden because it's just that kind of energy sapping hot. So I thought, all right, I'm up anyway. Get coffee, most important. Um, and then let's get a job done that I've really needed to do for a couple of weeks now. Um, if I get that done this morning, uh, then I can sit inside in the air conditioning when it gets hot this afternoon. <laughs> so let me show you what it is that I have to do. So the job today is to dismantle the veggie patch. Now, as we know, I was going to grow out here this year, but the ground was shit. So I grew in pots, which was fine. I set up the irrigation. Um, it was looking after itself. I got a couple of great harvests of tomatoes. There's a couple left, but a lot also just kind of got left on the vine. Because to be honest, guys, I was a little bit disheartened by the fact that I couldn't do what I wanted to do, which was grow out in the ground. But that's fine. That's part of gardening. Chilies are still going strong. These plants will stay here for now. Um, but what I'm going to do is just take the last of the harvest of the tomatoes and then compost the vines. I can then turn the water off. I did just get my water bill. It was not pretty, but it was also not as bad as I thought it would be. But I mean, there's no need to water these vines anymore. So we'll turn them off, we'll compost, nature's ultimate form of recycling. And I'll show you how we do that. Ah, oh, the sun's already got some bite in it. So I want to get over to the shade. Now, each of the tomatoes um, is tied up in a number of places. And each of these ties um, needs to be cut with scissors because the secateurs just don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in just to the bottom here. I'm going to chop off the vine just at soil level. Take the stake out and then pop them in a big pile over here. Um, we're already in the shade a little bit over here. Then uh, once I've got them all here, I can snip each of the ties off and then start shredding. I love this thing. I bought this on Gumtree um, a couple of years ago now and it is amazing. Anyway, a bit more coffee and I will keep doing that so I get out of the sun real quick. Oh, see, I'm already sweaty. Anyway, let me show you what I've achieved. <laughs> For this sweat is really indicative of the weather, not of my level of fitness. I go to the gym like three times a week. Anyway, let me show you. So I now have a very large pile of tomato vines and my pile of hardwood steaks. Hardwood steaks are great because, I mean, I will just pop these in my shed and they will be great for next year. So now I'm going to turn on the shredder and pump these through. Then they're gonna go into the compost bin. And the compost bin is looking pretty good at the moment. Now compost needs um, green and brown materials to become really good compost. This will be green material, grass clippings are green material, um, fallen leaves from under trees is brown material, shredded paper, brown material. Um, so I've got a fair bit of brown in here and I've got stacks of fallen leaves that I can add to it. So it will be great to get the green. Let's turn on the shredder. So how about that? All of those tomatoes have fit into this bucket here. And now this bucket here will go into the compost bin. And literally, that's it my friends. Um, I will give it a quick turn. So I have this really cool um, circle thing that happens. And what you do is, it's a bit hard to do with one hand, um, you twist 
the screwdriver down into the ground and then you pull up and that gives your compost bin a good turning because you should turn your compost bin every now and then you can see that i'm with doing this i'm mixing the existing compost and the new tomato stuff all together the existing stuff underneath is looking great this is going to be amazing a bit later on today or maybe tomorrow morning when it's cool again i will get some leaves and put them in here to get some brown material so give it all a twist give it all a bit of a turn stick the lid back on and we're done but ultimately guys this shredder and i don't know half an hour of my time turned all of that green waste instead of going into landfill it's turned it into beautiful compost and it hasn't filled up my green waste bin there's a few little things left i'll probably just chop these guys up into some small pieces they'll be a bit hard to go through the compost bin i will move harvest the chilies that are left um and then determine if i want to move the plant there's still some greenies on there so i might just move these guys to a different location then i can turn off the water and put the veggie patch to bed hopefully next year we are back in the good spot back i say hopefully next year we are in the good spot um and we can produce a lot more veggies but We'll see how we go. In the meantime, I'm really happy with what I've achieved. I need to put these sticks away, the um, hardwood stakes. I'll put this guy away. And I don't think I'm gonna go inside because it is hot. Anyway, guys, it's a beautiful day. So I hope you're enjoying yourself and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, I should have said, you don't have to mulch down your veggies and stuff to put them in the compost you can just put the entire tomato plant into the compost bin like this you can chop it down um i've chopped some down there just into smaller pieces the only reason i mulch it is because it makes it teeny teeny tiny pieces and they decompose a lot faster which means that we make the compost a lot faster if i was to put this whole thing in like this which i'll chop it into some smaller pieces but it'll generally be pretty big um it would just take a little bit longer to break down which is not a problem, especially considering that we're going into winter. So don't stress if you don't have a mulcher. Um, and if like me, you're considering a much larger veggie patch next year, um, start looking on Gumtree for the big, big, big mulchers mm, to make the job a whole lot easier. But I'll go there next year. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.